All right, welcome to a daily community meditation. So this month in March, we've been talking about resetting our understanding and about how the Holy Spirit, one of his jobs is to help us understand all the things we've been given in Christ. And one of those things I've been thinking about is the faithfulness of God, just how faithful he is. We've been given to access to him, to his presence, to his faithfulness. I just think back in my own life, there have been some times where you're just going through some things, and I just remember hearing over and over on the inside. The one thing I kept hearing was, I'm with you. I'm with you. Now, think about these two verses here. I got a couple of verses of scriptures on the screen. It says, let love and faithfulness, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And then you'll win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. That's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 through 4. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He'll establish you and guard you against the evil one. He's faithful. He's watching over us. He's with us. He's protecting us. He's guiding us. He's doing so much more than we. I think we give him credit for sometimes. It's one of the gifts we've been given in Christ. And so we're going to take communion over this today, just as a time of gratitude for God's faithfulness. Let's get started with the day of the prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heaven, the call our prayer for everybody who's watching or listening. Their families, their friends, everybody connected to them. And all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light. Into the kingdom of your son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down. He was smitten. Bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also, that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, I just keep asking that you would help us to know you more and more. To know Jesus and all that he did for us, all that he made available for us. To know, know the Holy Spirit, to know his leading, be sensitive to his leading. We ask you to bless us and to expand our borders and our territory. To expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us. That we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And I ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're so grateful. Grateful that you are faithful. Grateful that you are with us. We've got your love, your faithfulness. The Holy Spirit, help us to just understand God's faithfulness, how faithful he is. Help us to receive that, to walk in it, and to let that faithfulness flow through us that we become more and more like God. We become faithful ourselves, just like him. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he said, this is my, my body broken for you. Just thinking of the, of the verse right now. It says, Jesus was faithful as a son over all God's house. Moses was, Moses was faithful as a servant. Jesus was faithful as a son. So I just thank you for this bread, Father. Just for the sacrifice of Jesus. His faithfulness. I ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. I'm going to take a bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. 
And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. I just thank you that we get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. And that you are faithful to that covenant. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. Uh, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. So I think it's good we examine ourselves. The Bible says to examine ourselves to see if we are in the faith. How faithful are we being in our workouts? How faithful are we being in that area? Take some time to examine yourself. If needed, let's make some adjustments. But keep remembering God is with you. He loves you and nothing's impossible for him.